Hello, I'm Rebecca Barnes, and welcome to the Science at ESA vodcast. In this episode, we'll take a glimpse at the hot, energetic, and often violent universe revealed through X-ray and gamma-ray astronomy. Beyond blue visible light and the ultraviolet region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the waves continue to increase in energy and decrease in length, to about the size of a molecule and then to the size of subatomic particles. These waves are X-rays and gamma rays, energetic and potentially dangerous to life. Due to their extremely short wavelength, X-rays and gamma rays cannot penetrate Earth's relatively thick atmosphere and must be observed by space telescopes. The era of high-energy astronomy really kicked off with the space age, exposing astronomers to violent phenomena that had been invisible at other wavelengths. Any object heated to more than a million degrees Kelvin will begin to give off significant quantities of X-rays. This is one of the many ways that high-energy radiation is produced. X-rays are often detected from a binary star system where one star is the extraordinarily dense remains of a stellar core in the form of a neutron star or a black hole. These objects have a huge gravitational pull which strips gas away from the companion star. As this gas spirals towards the neutron star or the black hole, it is heated to incredible temperatures, high enough for X-rays to be emitted. Supernova remnants also emit X-rays and beyond our galaxy, large black holes are thought to power the tremendous X-ray emission from active galaxies. The gamma-ray universe is a place of constant change and it can be extremely volatile. Observing gamma rays helps astronomers to understand how matter and radiation interact with each other, especially under extreme conditions where temperatures are hundreds of millions of degrees, where matter is very dense or where magnetic fields are very strong. Gamma-ray bursts are amongst the most powerful explosions in the universe. They occur randomly and unpredictably. Short bursts are thought to be colliding neutron stars in distant galaxies. Longer bursts may be the very first supermassive stars now exploding as powerful supernovae, known as hypernovae. There is also a diffuse gamma-ray emission coming from our galaxy. This is where energetic particles, or cosmic rays, collide with gas in interstellar space. Europe is one of the pioneers of high-energy astronomy. In 1975, ESA launched COSB. This mission lasted for over six years and made an extensive survey of gamma radiation across the galaxy. EXOSAT, the first European Space Agency X-ray observatory, launched in 1983, made nearly 2,000 observations of a variety of sources during its three years in operation. To continue the venture into the high-energy universe, ESA launched XMM-Newton in 1999. It is the most sensitive X-ray telescope ever built and performs spectroscopy of cosmic X-ray sources. XMM-Newton has five X-ray instruments, three cameras and two spectrometers, as well as an optical ultraviolet monitoring camera. Focusing X-rays is extremely challenging, and for this task, XMM-Newton has three novel telescopes that are very different from those used to focus visible or infrared light. The mirrors on board XMM-Newton are barrel-shaped and coated with gold. As X-rays travel down the barrel, they graze the mirror at a very small angle and reflect. If this angle of instance is too large, the X-rays would be absorbed by the mirror material. Each of the telescopes is made up of 58 of these mirrors, nested together like Russian dolls. This provides the largest possible surface area over which the X-rays are collected. INTEGRAL, or the International Gamma-Ray Astrophysics Laboratory, was launched in 2002. This observatory studies celestial radiation that is 10,000 to 10 million times more energetic than the photons that reach our eyes from the sun and stars. 
Integral has a large field of view, allowing many gamma ray sources to be studied in one single exposure. There are four scientific instruments on board the spacecraft. Of the two that study gamma rays, one produces images and the other is a spectrometer. The other two instruments are an X-ray monitor and an optical camera. Gamma rays cannot be focused by conventional lenses and mirrors and in fact are incredibly difficult to detect. This is because they are so energetic they can easily penetrate almost anything. For this reason, the instruments on board Integral use a unique technique known as coded mask. A coded mask telescope is like a pinhole camera but with not one, but many pinholes. Both XMM Newton and Integral are space observatories feeding astronomers from around the world with fundamental information about the hidden universe. Once the best proposals have been chosen, experts from both observatories meticulously plan what the telescopes will observe and when. To communicate these plans to the observatories in space, the teams at ESAC must work with ESOC, the European Space Operations Centre in Germany. From ESOC, the detailed instructions are transmitted to XMM Newton and Integral via antennae located at various ground stations around the world. The nature of the high energy universe is that sources vary with time. An object that seems to emit a steady stream of radiation may have a sudden and violent outburst or a new source may suddenly start to emit high energy radiation. I'm Rebecca Barnes. Thank you for watching the Science at ESA vodcast.